Would you like to learn how to add animation to your videos like this? You've come to the right place. Welcome to Gameisodes, and in today's video, we're gonna be learning how to add animations to any video in Shotcut 2019, the newest version of the Shotcut software. The link for the free download is in the description. This tutorial is gonna be a little bit above the beginner level, so I expect you know how to do some of the stuff that we covered in our adding text video. You can see that I have a transparent video down right here. You're gonna need that to add some text to your video to make it move. Now, if you wanted to use an image, you would just place an image in this place instead of the transparent window. I'd like to have text. I want my race car here to say first place. Okay, so let's add some text to the transparent video. This time you do want to leave it in the full screen mode. We're gonna make the text gold for the first place winner right here. I would like to rotate this to show you that you can actually have the rotation in this as well. Just a slight tilt like that is fine. Now, how you're gonna to get to animate your text or your image that you place in your video is you're going to use the size and position filter right here. And you do, like I said, want to leave this in the full screen mode. Now, let's place the text where we want it to start out, which is right over the top of this car. I'm gonna shrink it down, because I don't want it to overpower the car, I just want it to be a nice little symbol here. Let's make it a little bit larger than the car, and we're gonna keep the S right about on top of the hood for a good reference point here. Now, I've shown you the presets before. These presets are not gonna help you. We're gonna make our own motion animation here. You need to click the stopwatch button. That's gonna allow you to use keyframes and put your text in specific locations relative to each part of the video. Notice it pops up a little red diamond right here. We want to right click that, change it to smooth. This is saying that your text right here is going to start off at the beginning of the clip at this point. Now, when we play the clip, the car moves. So we need to move the text along with the car. So let's click forward a little bit. Let's say right about here. And let's move our text so that the S is right above the hood again. Just like that. Notice it already made a new keyframe. Let's move the video a little bit further forward. I'm going to go before it rounds that curve. Put the S here, right above the hood. Move the video forward. Move the text. And now that the car is getting closer, I am actually going to start to make it a little bit bigger. Not that much bigger. Just a little bit bigger. Keep the S over the hood. Move the car forward, put the S over the hood, make the text a little bit bigger, move the car forward, just repeat the process. This is going to make your videos look a lot nicer. If you want to cover somebody's face with a funny emoji, if you want to put an arrow pointing to something to emphasize it in your videos, these are the steps you are going to take. The last part of the video here is where the car gets really big in perspective. So we're going to make this first sign blow up and then go off of the screen. We want to try to keep the first sign to be the same scale as it was when the car was up here. And the first sign was still bigger than the car. The last keyframe, I want it to be at the end of the video here, and I want the first text to be all the way off. So I'm going to drag it all the way out over here. And that should do the trick for you right there. Let's see how that looks. There it is. Following the car, getting larger, and then it's off the screen. And there you have it. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, please leave a like. 
If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. Leave a comment if you'd like to see how to do something else in Shotcut. I'd be happy to do another tutorial for you guys. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one.